if you're like me and you have some base level understanding of DaVinci Resolve and you are trying to edit videos together and every now and then the sound might drop out of one of your ears and it doesn't make any sense why, um, I'll try and talk about what I think is happening and how you can fix that. So let's first start with just playing a clip, a couple of clips where you can kind of see that in action. Now you can take the time to go into the video tab and deal with the lift and the gamma and the gain and all. Since the camera is behind the teleprompter, it's not really easy to judge what the camera sees. You can take the time to use the color editor in DaVinci Resolve and mess around with the lift, the gamma and the gain. Okay, so there's a the clip. You heard it coming out of both ears and then in the middle clip it only came out of one and then at the third clip it came out of both again. So first let's just let's examine the clips. This first clip right here was recorded in this with this kind of setup, you know, me looking at the screen here and talking to this microphone. And when you look at the clip attributes, you can see that it was format is stereo and it comes to both channels, left and right. Okay? Now the second clip right here I recorded using the DJI mic and you can kind of tell based on my shirt there's that little magnet that you see with the DJI mics and the microphones underneath my shirt and when we look at the clips for this the clip attributes for the second one you can see the format is mono and there's only one channel in the track okay now the last clip is just a rehash of the first one and you can see the clip attributes again stereo two channels left and right now I think there's a couple of things going on here one um, if I recorded the DJ mic in stereo maybe this wouldn't be a problem at all second thing is if you look at the audio track right here you see this little 2.0 stereo I think what happens is this gets the the track gets defaulted to the format of the first clip you put on in the timeline which this one happened to be stereo so the track defaulted to stereo so if you have any mono tracks then they're going to kind of get thrown off which is what happened in the second clip here so now what I'm going to do is show you how to fix that so we're going to right click back to clip attributes in our audio space I'm going to change the format to stereo so now we have two channels, a left and right. The left has a sound, the right doesn't. So what I'm just going to do is I'm going to change it from none to the channel one. So now I'm going to have the same things coming out of both ears. I guess it's technically not stereo, but you know we were kind of faking it, I guess. So I click OK, and I don't have to do anything with this third clip because it's the same as the first clip. So now let's replay it and see what that sounds like. And just a little quick caveat, the audio levels in these clips aren't very good. We can resolve that, but that's a time for another video. So let's first figure out if we got this left and right stuff going on. If we've got that fixed. So here we go again. Now you can take the time to go into the video tab and deal with the lift and the gamma and the gain and all. Since the camera's behind the teleprompter, it's not really easy to judge what the camera sees. You can take the time to use the color editor in DaVinci Resolve and mess around okay. with the lift, the gamma, and the gain. So we've resolved our little left-right problem. Uh, part of the reason why I like to make these kind of videos is these little tricks that I've discovered and I've read about um, help me as I'm starting to learn this tool. Maybe it'll help you. Now at the same time, maybe someone who's more advanced who watches this might come back and say, here's a much easier way to do that, or try changing these settings, whatever, you know, just other advice that someone more seasoned at this tool may have for me and, and us and anyone who else is watching this. So um, hopefully you got something out of that. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.